Christian Karras was here from ChristianKOnline.com. And today we have a Twitter marketing tip for you. It's a walkthrough of Twitter analytics. And for those of you who don't know about this tool, you access it by going to ads.twitter.com. And there you're going to find a host of powerful tools that you can leverage with your Twitter account. For example, you'll be able to create a new campaign to promote a tweet. You also have the ability within this interface to schedule tweets. So for example, if you're not using Hootsuite or Buffer and you want a free alternative, this is a great one. And lastly, you have the analytics interface. And this is going to give you three things. Basically, the ability to see timeline activity, followers, and websites. And what we're going to quickly do here is walk you through each of these and the different things that you can track and see. So as I mentioned, you go to ads.twitter.com. And if you want to access the analytics section, just select analytics and then go down to, say, timeline activity. So within timeline activity, this is going to show you all of the tweets that you have sent out. So for example, this is a tweet that I sent out about an hour ago. And not only does it show me you know, the short URL that I use, but it also shows me vital information such as how many people have clicked it, how many people have favorited it, retweets, and replies. This is all important information so that you can know how well your tweets are doing and tweak them if they're not performing so well. Now, what you can also do here is you can see over time how your tweets are working, how many mentions you're getting, how many follows you're getting, how many unfollows. So basically, you can see you know, your growth on Twitter. The second section within Twitter analytics is the follower section. This is pretty helpful because it'll show you, one, your growth in followers. At the same time, it will show you the breakdown of where your followers are located, what their interests are, and I think most importantly, other accounts that they are following. So for example, if I see an account and I'm not following them, that might be something I want to check out. The third section within Twitter analytics is the website section. And if you happen to have the Twitter button, by the way, the official Twitter button installed on your website, you can go in here, get some tracking code, and it will give you the ability to then measure which of your articles on your website are getting the most tweets, how many times they've been favorited, retweeted, and replied to. So that's it. That's the Twitter analytics interface. Overall, I think this is an extremely powerful tool. I think that you can really learn a lot from your followers to help you continue to churn out really good content. If you have questions on using the Twitter analytics interface, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like additional Twitter marketing tips, head over to ChristianKOnline.com.